Every week following the, the day and the, the championship, uh, the first the first week was crazy, the second week still crazy, just kind of died down. And once I moved down to Maryland to train, uh, it kind of just got away. People still recognize me down there like a little bit, but mm -hmm. it's, it's not as crazy because campus was absolutely wild. But I think the best thing about it was it made everyone, like I don't think there was a sad face around campus for the next month and a half right. till graduation. Even graduation, it wasn't, I wasn't crying. None, none of my teammates or anything were crying. I mean, I'm sure all the girls were, but I think in general, like you can't, you can't finish your college career a better way for yourself, um, for your senior class, and just for everyone around Villanova and all the people who have, all the alums who take pride in watching Villanova. Mm -hmm. What's one? Yeah. Go ahead. What's one of the craziest things that's happened that you um, can share <laughs> no, since I think, winning? I mean, I think the week after, I think we were just partying every single night, but. Um, I just think we've in the Philadelphia area we had the parade. We got to go to a Phillies game. I since I'm from the area, I got to throw out like a first pitch. So I got we got to go to Phillies, Sixers, uh, who was it? Flyers, like a, basically a playoff game, a Philadelphia Union. I got to go to the Stock Exchange, City Hall. We've just done so many things. We've just really been uh, not not taking anything for granted and just realize how special this opportunity is to uh, to just cherish it and um, just be very happy about the accomplishment that we did. Most kids grow up thinking three, two, one, shoot, yeah. win the national championship. How uh, tough was it to fight that feeling? No, no, <laughs> uh, it was honestly instinct. I think um, everyone always dreams about it, and um, no one really dreams about making the extra pass for the national championship game. And I think that's going to be a story I can tell for the rest of my life to, to someone who's thinking about always taking that last shot. I'll be the first one to tell them, hey, pass the ball if someone else is more, if, if someone else is open. Why don't you swing that ball? But um, I definitely played that shot in my head a million times growing up, and. Um, Never imagined one time a pass, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world right now. You say you have uh, other you have 76ers lined up, or you already yeah, have? Okay. Yeah, so I have the Lakers on Friday, I have the Jazz on Saturday, and the Sixers on Monday, so I've got all over the place. This is my first one of these, actually. Okay. Yeah, because okay. since we played longer than everyone, everyone right. my agent just wanted me to take a couple weeks to just relax and just get back in the swing of things. Okay. Yeah. Good. Well, thanks well, a lot, Ryan. Once yeah, you got sure. back into the swing of things, what, where, what have you been working on? What, have, what kind of feedback, early feedback, had you just, received? I mean, get, getting used to the NBA line. It's, it's a pretty big difference, not so much in the corners, but on the perimeter, shooting off ball screens and just uh, making decisions as a guard coming off screens and uh, trying to deal with the length that guys are going to have at the next level and just the speed up the Heard one of the coaches said he made a little money from you uh, yeah. <laughs> knocking down that yeah. shot. That's not the first time I've heard that uh, <laughs> someone has made a lot of money from me. It was funny when we were doing walking like along to, uh, to Wall Street in New York. We had like four or five people come up to us and say, hey, you want me $5,000, you give me $10,000. And we're just like, you're, you're welcome? Like, yeah, like, I, we, I don't know how to respond to it, but uh, I guess congrats to whoever won money off of us. <laughs>